Hey guys, what's up? Xander's Daily Podcast here. I, I don't know if anyone's there to hear it, but have to hope, right? <laughs> Any anyways, here goes. In 2056, robots destroyed the Earth, but not in the way you'd think. They wouldn't let us get hurt, they wouldn't let us use weapons, they, they wouldn't even let us age, somehow they figured that out. It was supposed to be utopia, but that is not how humans live. But, but hey, at least they solved the energy crisis, sort of. They built these stations in space with big mirrors on the front, which beamed sunlight down at receivers in the oceans, which used the heat to boil water. It was honestly great. So of course people started bombing them, like people do. Because they hated the robots. And with good reason. Now, I, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but the world was better when there was disease and aging and freedom and choice and, and guns. Yeah, proud gun owner here. At least I was. But they took that from us, just like they took everything. I'm getting off track, though. We blew up their stations, which was stupid, because then those space mirrors started boiling the oceans, which made a lot of steam, and that steam turned into storms. And those storms killed basically everyone. The robots tried to stop it, but they weren't fast enough. It's been three years now, and I've been seeing less and less of us out here. At least I've got all the robots I could ever talk to. Those disgusting things. Metal Brain, come on. Metal Brain, I found the breaker. You know what to do. Of course, Sander. Your wish is my command. Shut up. Oh, it's gonna be good. Merry Christmas! I'm gonna be set for a few weeks with this. You know, we should look into getting some new solar panels for the ship. Um, they're getting a bit old by now. Or you could, you know, clean off the old ones, make your soap. What are you doing? He is hurt. We should help him. It's hurt? It's a piece of metal. What are you talking about? He needs help. So we should help him. Look, I don't have the supplies to salvage another robot, and I certainly don't need another one. Look at it. You think it's hurt? You think it needs help? It's a robot. It's a chunk of scrap and wires. I don't know if you're glitched out or something, but we really have to go. You hear that? Thunder. I hope you can compute what that means.
what? Do you not get it? The storm is coming and it's gonna wreck my ship. You don't leave that heap behind, Zender. I know the storm is coming, Xander, but we should help him. You will die if the basement floods. What? Are, are you insane? That thing right there is a computer. Do you know what that means, metal brain? That means it has a metal brain. Just like you, not a real brain. You don't think or feel like me, right? Look at this, flesh, blood, and bone, buddy, and what are you? You're a, you're a PC, you're, you're a walking computer. That thing is dead already because it was never alive. What part of that doesn't make sense? I'm tired of the way you're treating me, Xander. Wrong boo -hoo. Look around you. All of this? This is your kind's fault. You are the reason I live on a spaceship and drink recycled piss half the year because there isn't enough clean water. You are a robot. Robots don't think. So quit playing this game with me. We've been through this before. You take inputs, you compute things, and you give outputs. You're an algorithm, a, a machine. No better than my dishwasher. I shouldn't even have a weapon because of you, because of your programming. You couldn't program a real living thing, could you? We are leaving that hunk of trash behind. What is wrong with you? Come on! Pick it up. I said, pick it up! What the hell is wrong with you? I am sorry, Xander. I am so sorry. I am sorry. I... No, you're not, you liar! You can't be sorry because you don't have feelings. You can't even control yourself. You're just programmed to say these things. You can't program a person. That's the difference between you and me. I'm a living, breathing thing and you're a machine. If that was a human, would you help him? Of course. Just the same as you would save one of your kind, I am saving one of mine. I may have a different brain than you. I may not look like you, but I am saving someone who needs help. You tell me that computers are driven solely by logic. Yet although it is illogical of me to save this robot, I am doing it anyway. But I understand. Machines hurt you in the past, so it makes sense that you hate us now. But humans hurt me in the past, and here I am. The difference between you and me, Xander, is not what our brains are made of. Then what is it? The difference is that I forgive you. Could your dishwasher do that? Take him back to the ship. We'll, we'll come back when the storm's gone and find some parts, fix them up. You told me a while ago that you wanted a name. Uh, you didn't have one, so I called you Metal Brain. Do you want one? I like Metal Brain. I think I'll keep it. <laughs> okay, Metal Brain. Xander, are you coming? Y yeah, yeah, just give me a second. Thinking. Okay, Xander. I'll be on the ship. Make sure to come soon, because the storm will be here shortly. <laughs>